cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship. I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Just the person I wanted to see. Carry food with you, or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay. Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions.
right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxims approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victoria, Captain. Ad Victoria, Captain. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome aboard, Elder Max. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. 
But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, You've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Hold. Plating integrity looks good. No need for adjustments. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. So how did it look well, out there? Well, wondered when I'd see you again. Paladin dance. Well, there come you back are. when you've got the time. How did it go with Elder Max? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Well, now. Wonder when I'd see you again. Well, come back when you've got the there. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes to win ago. The people's you can't fix it. I can fix it. Spread the word. Brother. You're the one who decided Cross to take your way through a fire. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. There it is. Uh, not what I was expecting. Thanks, brother. I owe you. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. 
Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. If you need it, there's shelter and supplies at the police station in Cambridge. Oh man, I'm late for muster one more time. Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. Time to suit up. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Max. I had enough of lions in foolish ways. Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from the ferals. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. There are other scribes within the Brotherhood that consider fictional material essential. But I refuse to allow them aboard this vessel. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure, go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good. 
Good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? No, never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Well, now, one good minute. I'll come back when you've got the time. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud. yourself with the Prigman's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yes, Albert. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. 
Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Dismissed. from above. Try and keep him in your sight.
Quite a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Wish a buckethead would show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. Getting hungry. has obviously been abandoned for quite some time. Quite a find.
whatever this thing was, it's been totally torn to pieces. We should search this area carefully for any technical documentation or pre-war artifacts. Technology is a lost art that the Brotherhood's hoping to revive. weapons in the hands of those super mutants. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know. You're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed.
Greetings, Knight. comes to keeping the Gridlin running. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. So, what happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwood. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated, at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Could those mysterious energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own, so we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Any suggestions on where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Tegan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed.
Delta sequence initiated. Completion time, 14 minutes. Getting a bit of a twitch on prop three. Adjusting torque. Thank you. 